Previously, we visited a few dance schools where we witnessed girls doing the moves to tunes from K-pop superstars like SNSD and chart toppers like the Pussycat Dolls. But look who we found! Boys dancing to Girls' Generation? Now what would people think? Doing girl group dances, you know, the whole, just the choreography is different from typical guy group dances and that gives you a very different energy and I think it's just fun to explore that, you know, um, it's not like I'm going to be parading it around, like, you know, shaking my hips and all, but, you know, secretly in the studio, it's quite fun to just let loose. When I first entered K-pop, right, um, my friends were all not into K- that, that into K-pop yet, so they, they were, they were make fun of me like, sometimes. At that time, I was uh, addicted to G by Sonoshi Day, um, so it's like, they're making fun of me for liking a girl group. I just don't see the point why. And the boys have come a long way since their first lesson. When I first entered the class, it was all girls and I was the only guy. So naturally, I'll be shy about this stuff, you know? Oh, well, the first time I was really nervous because I never re- I never that da- I didn't have any dance background, so this is my first time dancing. And you know, because I was going for a girls combo and I was the only boy there, so I was really nervous. Ultimately, passion ruled, as Milton testifies. Like, when I first like saw my, my first MTV, K-pop MTV, I knew that I, I really wanted to secretly be like these guys. So I think when I take out an MTV dance class, it helps me to be like in the, in the shoes of these superstars like just for a little bit, you know, like an escape from reality. In our next clip, we speak to the dance instructors as they spill the beans on their students.